I'm Dr. Jeff Grognett, and today we're going to talk about what you should do if your dog has a seizure. So, the very first thing, by far, is protect yourself. Make sure that you don't get hurt when your dog has a seizure. The way you're going to get hurt is through the dog biting you. Maybe scratching, but biting is the big key here. Now, one of the worst bites I ever saw was a fellow that had a German Shepherd and while the dog was seizuring, he put his fingers in the mouth so that he could grab the tongue so the dog didn't swallow it. Well, first off, dogs don't swallow their tongue, neither do people. And the other thing is, as soon as he put his hand in that mouth, the dog clamped on and it was stuck in there. And the dog seizuring was just grinding away. That caused a lot of damage to his hand, a lot of stitches, and he ended up in hospital for that, of course. So, do not put your fingers in the mouth. The other thing is, when you're working with a dog that has a seizure, uh, just make sure you don't get anywhere near the biting part. And this can be, uh, for example, when if you pick them up and try to hug them, to console them, and some people, I've, I've seen this happen, they'll pick them up and cuddle them, and the head is right here. And it's just a very little movement for them to go and bite the face. So they can cause a lot of damage that way. So do not get your face or hands near the mouth in any way at all. So let's figure out what we should do if a dog has a seizure. And I just happen to have a dog right here. Well, it's kind of like a dog, but you get the idea. So our little friend here is having a seizure. You just saw how I pulled him out of the kennel bad idea. You shouldn't do it like that. If he's having something in, the, in a kennel like that or, some, or just having a seizure, get hold of the scruff if you can and pull him out. Watch out for that end. Make sure you don't get bitten. Most dogs that have a seizure are going to be on the floor. So, let's do that. Now, let's assume that our dog is stuck under the coffee table. We want to get him out because he's hitting his head on the coffee table, he's hitting the leg, he's damaging himself. So the way you do it is to grab his foot, the back leg, and pull him out. Okay? That way you're not going to be anywhere near the biting end. If he's got a tail, you can pull the tail. This guy doesn't have much of one. So get him away from that and get him into the middle of the room. Get him away from furniture, walls, and stairs. If you uh, Protect him that way, he's not going to hurt himself. Okay. The, uh, the other thing you want to do with him is to try and quiet his environment. Turn the lights down, dim them, shut them off, whatever works for you. And also, if you've got any music going or the TV blaring or anything like that, or kids screaming, get it all out. Get it quiet. And just make sure that you don't have that stimulating the dog to keep the seizure going. Okay. The next thing is, while he's having the seizure, there's, there's one thing you do need to watch out for, and that is some dogs will vomit when they're having a seizure. The fear with that, of course, is they're pretty well unconscious while they're having a seizure, so if they vomit and the stuff is in the mouth, they can inhale it. So, if you do see that happening, get the dog and pick them up from the back end. Stay away from the front end still, and just let the stuff fall out of the mouth. Don't go in there to scoop it out or anything like that. That's what's going to hurt you. Okay? So, if you've got a dog that's having a seizure, uh, it depends on what they're doing, but there's a few things you can do to try to help them out. The first thing is, get a large blanket and just drape it over. You don't have to go near the dog to do this. And that way, it shuts out the light and, and the weight of it and such will actually help to calm them and that way they're not feeling as bad, uh, as in they're not being stimulated and hopefully the seizure will be shortened that way. The other thing is, what happens if you see multiple seizures? One way you can help this, very simply, is getting an ice pack. You can use the bag of peas idea, you can use a gel pack, which is what this is. You can use ice packs. And where you're going to put it is right on the spine right at the very back end of the ribs. Okay, so right where the ribs turn into the what we call the lumbar spine or the lo lower back. So put it right there and just put it on top. To do this, of course, you want to have the dog what we call in sternal position. The sternum is on the floor. 
So in other words, the way that this guy is, you want the chest down, back up, and that way it's doing that. Just being in this position can help prevent the next seizure for some dogs, and I've seen it work really good. So if you can do that, and then cover them up, and just leave them alone, that's the way to do it. Now if a dog only has one seizure, or two, you're fine probably to stay at home, as long as you, as long as you can handle it yourself. Once you get into the third seizure or fourth seizure, that's when we're running into problems. That's when you should be calling the vet and saying, hey, I'm coming, I'm on my way, because you don't know if they're going to stop or not. And especially if you've gone on to the fourth seizure, you may need to have some Valium injected in the vein to stop them, or, or some other medication. So make sure you have a direct access to a veterinarian when that's happening. So hopefully that's going to help you if your dog has a seizure. And uh, certainly uh, we see a lot of dogs that do have seizures at home that we never see because they finish before they get here. And then it's a case of consulting on what to do next. But if a dog has a seizure, here's some tips for it. Okay? So anyway, enjoy your dogs and uh, hopefully we'll see you in another video. Thank you.